Hello everyone and welcome to the Aviation Video Channel. Now this is a, another video indeed on how to improve your MS First 2024 experience and your FPS. Now this kind of goes back on my video on how to improve sim settings if you watch that. Um, but pretty much every update I seem to be having to change something in order to uh, get my performance to it's, well improve. And it's quite a significant difference. It always feels like there's a little bug for my system at least, I'm not sure for anyone else, but basically after the, I think it was some update too, the most recent update, I've gone into the beta mode, but I don't think this is necessary, this hasn't helped my FPS that much. But what has, and this is again going against my old video, is um, a setting which is sort of in place of auto FPS and um, everything else, every kind of frame gen, but it's built into the flight simulator. Now you will um, basically go to settings, go to dynamic settings and bam. Now basically I believe this is like a frame gen built in. So technically you know if I set it down to 25 you can see the performance is noticeably I mean laggier as you can tell. But before in the flight sim um, during sim update 1 I believe or even pre then uh, this setting just wrecked havoc. And I've also done some research and found people saying that it reduces uh, crash to desktops. Now I haven't really had issues with crash to desktops in Microsoft Flight Sim. However, of course, um, lots of uh, builds are different. And I did get a message yesterday saying my VRAM was uh, exceeding the limit. Now another setting as well. As much as you can see, I've got it going all the way to 120. This can cause your PC to get very hot and uh, I'm not responsible if your PC blows up, but also the frame rate limit I've found to make a big difference as well. Um, if you leave it 100% or even off, basically you're going to get tearing, which are kind of the slashes across your screen. But what I like to do is, as you can see, this is, I mean, somewhat better. Um, but you can see if you move around the kind of white lines, the uh, tearing. So, what I do is I limit this down to 30. Now, of course, you've got dynamic settings, so you're pushing it to get 120 FPS. Then I've got 33% of... Oh, hold on, let me do the maths. 0.33. You've got 33%, uh, and that's around 37 FPS. And I'm kind of limiting this to ensure that my PC is providing more than what it displays, which just seems to make the, the um, experience nicer, and a lot less stutters. But I mean, this is in the Aerosoft CRJ. I have tried these settings in the Phoenix V2. Um, it's still, it's a lot better. However, I never seem to get full FPS, especially at Gatwick or something on VATSIM. However, this is allowing me to fly Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 without any issues, pretty much. And as you can see, it works fantastically. I'm not sure if OBS does it justice, but it really has helped my experience. Uh, I use the RTX 3070. So if anyone else has um, upgraded to sim update to or the beta beta version, um, I found this to work quite well. However, it didn't work very well for sim update one. So it's kind of finding the fix to every update. However, I have found with every update, pretty much it's just been an improvement. So I can't wait to see what else they bring out and uh, happy flying. This is probably the only aircraft well, not the only aircraft, one of the aircraft I can't properly start up without having 200 issues, but that's related video. 